Whoop whoop. Hi guys, it's WarmConnell007. Said that really slow for the caption cards. What name will I get today? I don't know. Anyways, guys, we're gonna go over um, the big old bunny. We're gonna go over Seer Knight. Um, you guys are saying like this is probably one of the worst um, really evolved domains, and you can kind of see why. Um, at the same time, it still has its own utility. Um, and I kind of want to just run through what it's about, um, when to run, when never to run, and to the comments below, just never run it. Um, oh my god, Worms is saying it's completely wrong, what are you doing? Why? Why are you doing that? Why? Why are you using it like that? Um, so, <laughs> let's see exactly what it's about. Um, so, let's go into it. Mr. Seer Knight, let's go, Mr. Bunny. Okay, so... Typing wise, it's uh, fire and metal. Um, what that means is you don't want to hang about for a nerf attack. Um, you know, you've got Yeti's Wrath. Um, there's more and more Himbers being used on being a haste teams at the moment. Um, you don't want to stay in for that. Uh, you don't want to potentially don't want to eat a clay slap as well from Garbantis. Um, depends what way they're set up as well. Um, weaknesses are water, electric, brawler. Like, they've just dumped like a load of water types on this. Um, brawlers. Katab, so he's got jungle jutsu, um, you got mutagons there as well that are going to be a threat. Um, electric, everyone's running electric, whether it's Nikazune or probably, you know, Azulong at the moment for all these water types, so it's it's really hard to get in. Um, that said, um, there, most people would usually, you could run a secret ability and you could run Karafan, which most people will then run Rabern for with Drop of Youth. Um, I'm going to run Brawny Nimble, um, and I'll explain my reason why, okay? Um, and I'll go and do it in a second. So, if we look here, just usual, I'm just, I'm, I beefed out my range attack and range speed. Now, I put the rest of my investment into range defense. I was kind of torn between us, so I was like, I could just bulk it up. But, like, anything I really wanted to take a hit from, um, on the melee side, it was 100 TPs aren't going to be enough. Um, so I thought, right, I'll give it at least a bit of range coverage um, just to try and give it a bit more balance. Um, cause generally, most people will think it'll be quite tanky. So I'm just kind of going against the green here, um, going for a range set. Now, the reason why um, I've put 200 in, first of all, if you, if you drop it down to 196, it actually drops uh, a speed point, um, which it actually does need 200 investment for. Um, the thing is, you've got on its same speed tier, it's got a base of 65 speed, okay? So you're gonna outspeed um, the likes of Chartiki, you're gonna outspeed Guardrone, you're gonna outspeed Moochoon and the Minami, okay? They're all below 65, okay? So having Nimble, you're against them. Now, what we now have in our tier is we now have Wobblisk, um, which either runs potentially <sighs> Nimble, or might not run nimble, but even at that, you want to outspeed it. Um, Obsidragon, uh, goes without saying, but do you want to kind of hang about for an earthquake? Probably not. You potentially could take an earthquake from Obsidragon, um, which means that you could potentially got a power focus off. Um, Searing Steel is your friend, by the way, guys. Um, I think people forget about Searing Steel. It's the one thing that I think makes Sierra Knight actually worth using. It's its signature move as well because, don't forget it hits, but it has the chance to burn, um, which could turn your game around. Um, Swolder's in at 65, um, and Munchwheel is in at 66. Now, with Munchwheel at 66, um, if you're going against it to begin with, um, so say you both lead off, um, you're probably gonna do some big boy damage to it. Um, that said, um, a lot of people are running rev up at the moment, so they're likely to be fully or quite a lot in, partially invested into um, speed. Um, there's more and more uh, being a PS teams coming out because you've got because of rev up much wheel, like you're probably more likely going to be looking at being a haste at the moment. Um, so it, it actually is. It is worthwhile. Um, above it, you've got Dive Org at 68, which 
doesn't want speed investment because usually it's secret ability. Um, and then you got four rock 68. And then what you potentially do is go in and speed creep a couple other things um, just above you if you aren't putting any investment. Say for example, someone puts a Terraquil in or potential Trumbull. Um, you know, this is where you can. This is why I'm justifying nimble. Um, that said, if you look at its stats, it, it's, it's melee defense is huge. Um, so you alternatively, you could go robust. Um, could you go very brawny? I wouldn't suggest it because you're, you're dropping two things. Um, you potentially could, um, and it can drop drop both your range attack and range defense, and then just use it to deal with melee hits all day long. Um, the good thing about it is it has really good. It has actually a decent. Um, move set so as i mentioned about searing steel searing steel because you've got the chance to burn it's really good um so i'm running metal essence on it because if i know they're likely to swap out well we'll we'll hit them with searing steel and try and get a burn off it um flame and kick um obviously for stab to go with awakening um to go through slap down because if expecting a swap out we still want to hit like a house as well and power focus if we can potentially get a cheeky uh, melee attack we can do some damage here as well so we'll try it out um it's not everybody's cup of tea it's it's kind of awkward that's how i would say seer knight is right now seer knight is awkward um but like everything um you, you need to make sure you have the right type of people um Earthquakes are going to hit you um, all day long, so this is where Cinemoth comes in. Um, Cinemoth can come in and just come in on an Earthquake on, on most things, no problem at all. Um, and obviously my Terra Claw is just in range bulk all day long, so if I can see Ikazune come in, then it's fine. Um, things that are going to potentially be threats or ice types, but again... Uh, sorry, ice types, sorry. Uh, ice types on the Metara Claw, but we can, we can work around that basically. So let's see how we get on. Um, I kind of used this a wee bit yesterday, just messing about, um, and I forgot exactly what Sierra Knight was about. Um, you know, I, was, I was trying to do things that were just stupid, <laughs> to be honest with you. Um, so let's see, oh, I've got a battle request there already. Competitive level 100, I tell you what, man, we'll do 50. See what you say. Um, since he's down for a battle. Um, let's see how we can get on. And we'll just send out a few invites. Let's see if we can pick up a battle. Um, Seer Knight, but it's not that fast. It's not the type of Lumion you want to kind of hold back to try and sweep somebody. Um, it really isn't. And to be fair, obviously, I've got an Alpha here pink it's not really the, the hottest looking lumion ever um <laughs> i don't even know where i'm going to use this thing um this team is fast i wish i brought me a kazuna no, i'm not gonna lie um tell you what actually goblin demic might be where we want to start off here um, um, pretty physical. Um, I'm gonna bring Tata up here. Under causes me big issues here. Big, big issues. I'm gonna have to do something around that Honder. Um, gonna struggle with Honder here. He needs a top top. Oh, we've got Gobademic. Perfect, okay. Um, this is good for us because we can do some big boy damage. Um, I would love to hit Muck Blast here all day long. Um, yeah, actually, yeah. Airblade's probably going to do... Actually, yeah, Muck Blast all day long. Just thinking about his team. What he doesn't really have anything to, to come in on a muck blast. Or does he? Hunter, yeah. So expect a hunter to come in. Um I was thinking about the airblade, probably wanted to do about the same. I'd hit him for about half. Ooh. 
Um, yeah, we're just not blasting in here. We hit him for half. Beautiful. The biggest threat that I could see there was Hunter to my team. Um, so we'll take him down. Turkey time, here we go. So the question... This team I'm up against, it's this is what I mean. It's kind of like awkward. It's, it's awkward to actually get Tyranite in. Um, like, Ikezune is... You know, I could, I could take a Fire Breath. If he, if he hits me with a bit of Thunder, I'm in trouble here. Um, I can sit in a Muck Blast here. Look at that Alpha, Alpha Reindeer, beautiful. Electro Burst, um, right, okay. So, maybe not potentially trained, but this is a dodge. This is a dodge. Oh no, oh no, oh no. <laughs> um, and then we got 34, can we hit him? Um, no, but we can put you to sleep and we can rest. This is the joy of Gobbledemic. Um, came into a bit of criticism. <laughs> For not using, um, I think it was 55 energy on Gobbledemic. People are like, you want to use 55 energy on Gobbledemic? You you want to be able to use um, five Muck Blasts? I'm like, why do I need to use five Muck Blasts? Um, also, a fact with Hypnotize, as you've seen there, it gives us the opportunity to rest, um, which is even better. So if he's asleep, I get a rest in. He swaps, it's fine, he gets a swap in. Um, Copadamic just sits and does this all day long. Um, majority of like you're you're gonna struggle probably get five muck blasts in against the majority of people. Okay, there's Joel Tooth coming in. Um, I don't want to swap any kids to get ambush. We we'll sit in muck blast again. Just like God, we'll just let God damn it, chip them down. He's got nothing to hit the deal with Gobbledemic at all. Final slash. Okay. So, if I bring Seer Knight in here, um, hmm, let's see. what sort of damage would Seer Knight do? I think we do outspeed. Dual to 69 base speed. Um, it won't be nimble, will it? It'll probably be brawny. So, the thing about dual tooth is um, its melee defense is not great. Um, so that's where we go for a seer instead. Should be enough to take him out. Yeah. In this range, I would like to think so. Perfect. Okay, so Seer Knight's actually doing a bit of damage now. It's actually useful. Oh my god. Um, you could lead with it, and then you could always get a slap down. But in this choice, we actually we actually did the right thing. Um, Skellic comes in. Um, Skellic. Now he's interesting because a lot of a lot of people do go and run. Uh, Brawny on this, or they run either Brawny or Nimble on it. Skellic's going to outspeed me. Um, question is, do we take the chance of trying to take a hit? Um, probably not. I kind of want to do it because I don't see what else your knight's going to do in this battle. Um, so let's see. Skellic uses Pierce and Dive. Okay, so we hit us for about just below half. So your knight lives on. And he takes Skellic down. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So our trash Lumion with its um, nimble personality is actually putting in a bit of work here. Imagine that. Um, Ikizuna comes in. He's going to hit me with electric all day here. Um, Either let's see your knight go down or else I can rotate in. Um, oh, he's asleep. I'm an idiot. Forgot he's asleep. Uh, swapped into Waka Waka. 
If he wakes up, it's justified, by the way. Completely justified and meant it if he wakes up. Oh, damn. It's grand. Um, we'll go for the flabbergast from here. I've been meaning to swap um, flabbergast out for being a theist. To do that. Um, pretty certain. I don't want to take a fire breath here. Um, I will stay in, sorry. Fire breath. Okay. We dealt with it. We dealt with it. Flabbergast to take the Alpha Kazuni down. Boom. Big flex, big flex. Tatab comes in. Um, I'm pretty certain we'll let. Well, that like, like I go down here, and then we bring in um, we we'll bring in Gobdamic. Could have brought Gobdamic in there, but a few or Gobdanks down already. Um, actually, bring Serenade in. We'll have a foot race. Toxic Teal. Oh my God, see if we were down here. <gasps> Then it just jungle jutsus, take my cinema off, and my um, serenade were in big trouble. Big, big trouble. Come on, Tatab, you can do it. Beautiful. I'm gonna take his Tatab down. <gasps> no! He lives on 1 HP! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! He lives on 1 HP! <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Um. Yeah, we're in trouble. We're in trouble! Send him off, I need you to take a hit. I need you to take a hit, send him off. Be able to take a hit. Please. Please send him off, please. Take a hit. Take a hit. <gasps> just about. Wow. We just about. Wow. We were in big boy trouble there. That one HP. Um, we'll give it a GG there. Um, that was nearly a tat tab clutch from his end. Um, okay, let's see if we can get another battle here. Um, we'll try and lead off with um, Sierra Knight and see if we can pick up and get a bit more use of it. That was quite funny, actually. That was probably my fault for doing stupid plays, but hey. We're done okay, we're done okay. We got there in the end. Send him off. Can't believe he last on one HP. One HP, like... I was actually thinking, like, this is it. This is us being in big boy trouble. Okay, let's go up against this dude. Mass 40. Okay. Right, um... I kind of want to lead Serenite. Um, Garrosh is a bit of a threat. But we can rotate round up. Kind of need to do. Do Alright, we'll go we'll go with this team. I just want to kind of use Wack Wack as well, so Swolder lead. Okay. We'll go for Sierra Knight. Um I could go greedy here and go for a power focus. Could go really greedy and go with it. Um you could just swap swap in the Garlash. I'm gonna go for this here and steal. We'll try and get a bit of RNG working, we'll get a burn. Come on. 
Hit him for half weapon speed. Not too worried about his speed right now. He poisons us. Okay. That means he's going to stay in. There's no way he doesn't stay in after poisoning me. Um, I'm going to power focus now. He's got a speed drop on me, which is annoying. Um, but sure, that's all part of weapon with Swolder. I'm surprised I've not seen as many Swolders. Um, compared to normal, to be honest with you. Um, he knows if he keeps Swolder in, then Swolder's in trouble. Um, he brings your soul in. I've got the power focus. Um, I'm gonna stay in here. Um, I'm gonna go for the Serum Stain now. Slaps down me, I lose Metal Essence. I can take a hit on it. Um, doesn't even have Terrifying on your soul. Excuse me. Um, I don't... I don't know what that swap was about at all. I really don't. It's probably not the best move. Got a power focus off now, so we've got a chance to do some proper damage. Back punch. Yeah, it'll hit us a wee bit, but it's not going to do enough. Our natural bulk without any investment just deals with that. Um, poison. Okay, now his quick punch um, is going to do a bit of damage to me. Kind of want to keep... Here tonight. Now you want to think about it. Um, okay, quick punch my no. He probably he has to hit quick punch. He should be looking at me going right. That's quick punch range. Um, send him off and come in. I'll, I'll last this quick punch. I think I'll last two. Yeah, well, last two. It's fine. Um, I'm going to Airblade. He's going to hit Quick Punch again. Oh, Shadow Sprint. Okay. Mystery Toxins comes into play and paralyzes him. Fine. And we'll Airblade him. Wanting to keep um, Steer Knight for Swolder. Um, I think I've got quite a lot of things to do with Swolder. I've got set him off and I've got um, also got, uh, Gobdemic. Um. Yeah, I can let Serenite go down. I need to let someone go down. I'm going to keep Cinema off just in case of the Saddlemars coming in. As well. I've actually got quite a lot of things to probably do with Saddlemars, but I want to keep Cinema off with the Saddlemars. Um, I'll probably, if it comes in, I'll leave off a life drain. So, what? What's he got? He's, what's he hitting me, me with here? Um, Sierra Knight's gonna come in and take it and fall. Yeah, she be, and his E outspeeds me. I've still got, um, Patab, which will outspeed the Garlash. Well, it's actually worthwhile to bring Garlash in, or Tatab in. He's sitting thinking about this now. What you gonna do, my friend? What you gonna do? Oh, is he gonna time out? Oh no, oh no, oh no. <gasps> That one on ended in disaster. Let's see if we can get another one. He must have disconnected. Jade up. Right on. Bahar. Potatoes and trains. Come on. We've already battled. Cert. Even get another battle here. Looks like a lot of people in the Coliseum are battling already. Um. It's, it's interesting, like, trying to use Tyranite because the thing is, no one's going to expect it. But clearly there's a reason for that 
you have to make a lot of moves just to accommodate it, um, to be fair. Um, a lot of moves. Let's see. You know, alternatively, you could go robust brawny. Um, you're not going to speed creep things, but the difference is with having that wee bit of nimble, um, it means that you could potentially get away with a serum steel. Um, see these. So that's kind of the difference, you know, is it worthwhile to do it? Is it better to ha be able to hit somebody first? Um, most cases, yeah. Um, would it be worth putting bulk into it? If you're gonna make it bulky, you might as well make it go for the secret of building, get terrifying. Um, otherwise, you're just going to you're just gonna go through the motions time and time again. Um, so I don't know. It's when I asked you guys on Twitter, you know, what's the worst? Like, this is one of the first really evolved that you said um, was the worst. Um, he's going to lead with Gardash, isn't he? Uh, gonna... He has a Gobbledemic as well. Um, let's go Tata Bleed. Um, let's bring in... For this team, let's bring Taraqua in. Uh, send him off. Yes. Um, definitely. And... Between these two, who do you want to bring? Between these three. With Clips, you don't really play a part in this one. Um, you could be really useful. Really useful. Um, actually, let's bring you instead of Cinemov. And let's bring Gobbledemic as well. Wackalacker could, could do some big boy damage into this one. Okay, he needs a Sochi. Sochi! Oh. Hatab, so he should outspeed. Um, will a bushwhack be enough on Sochi? That is the question. Um, I haven't seen Sochi in like forever. Um, there's a lot of things out there that are far, far better than him, to be fair. Um, the issue with Sochi is it has like no melee bulk at all. Um, and we shoot outspeed, so we're going for a bushwhack. Should be enough. And it's short. <gasps> oh no, oh no, oh no. Um, file chant. Got some big boy damage. It's fine. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we'll bring in packing time here. And we will go for a muck blast. And we take Sochi down. Pretty sure I needed that Tata for Garlash. Um, well, that got it, damn it. comes in. Um, what I'm gonna do is. I'm gonna bring. Wakalaka in here. Is earthquake. It's fine. Um, we're gonna flabbergast. You sharpen. That's fine. It's got resilience, melee defense. Come up. Um, we'll go flabbergast again. He's gonna have to sharpen a few times, and I've got photosynthesis, so I can I can recover easy enough. If he then goes to a point that he's swapping out, we can go straight into um, Seer Knight. I'm a slash. Hit me for about a third. I've still got nothing to tank here. Um, he is going to. He's slumber. I'd assume so. I'm just gonna keep attacking him because he doesn't. I'm a slash. It's fine. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Um, I was 
thought we would have went there and got him. Thought he may have went to sleep. Uh, we'll bring Serenade in. His resilience is times three now, though. Um, we'll act first because we're nimble. He's waiting out a turn, so we'll take him down. His resilience shouldn't last this. Yeah, I don't think so. It's actually fun, like, just using things that most people don't. Um, under. Thunder chomps me. Should last one. Thought so. And we'll flame and kick it. And we'll take Hunter down. And again, that's with no melee investment. Or range defense investment. Gobademic. Um. Gonna stay in. Muck blast. And go down. Could have turkey wars here. But I'm gonna bring in Terraclaw. Um, what I wanna do with Terraclaw is I wanna pestilence. I wanna keep him in. Ease his poison on me, which is fine. Absolutely fine. Pestilence, so we'll keep him in. Uh, we also got a bit of health recovery just to kind of accommodate for the poison. Um, now we Yuri stare it. Can't remember just if Gobademic gets access to provoke. Kind of think it does, if memory serves. Um, run on provoke could be really good on Gobademic because it's so quick. Um, it can kind of deal with anything that's through at it. Um, Let's go for um, Parasitize now. Dropped its melee defense down. Dropped its speed down. Come on. Beautiful. And Gobademic goes down. With a poison on Tower Club. So we've still got Gobademic held back. Um, Garlish? No, it clips. Okay, um, this is a pain. He's gonna scapegoat, and now he's gonna let his poison do its work. Um, I need to get cheeky rest in somewhere. I'm gonna wait. If I wait now. He scapegoats. I get hurt by poison. I bring Gobademic in. I, or I could bring Gobademic in now and try to start doing some work. Um, ooh. This is an issue. Um, yeah, I go for a wait now, don't I? Skip go. I need to get that skip go down and then I can let Gobademic do a bit of work. Um, so parasitize. Uses disperse, which is to be expected. Parasitize, he hits me. Poison's gonna the poison's probably might win him the game here. Because I can I can take a hit. I can take a hit, but the poison is crippling me. Absolutely crippling me. Um, the question is, can I take a hit now if he goes for another scapegoat? Which he should have, yep. Um, again, we'll get rid of that scapegoat. He's just trying to poison stall me out. Which is working. Then he should hit me this time. Raging Howl. Perfect. Okay. I want him to take as much chip off him. I wanted to kind of get him down as low as possible for Cobbedemic. So 
So, really, I kind of want to hypnotize him. I could, I could do that and just be a complete troll. Um, I'll just go for the knock blast at this range. Not enough. I've got the poison on him though. We need the last one hit. He's plus one. He rage and hides. <gasps> and we live. The poison, the reckless tackle, and the poison as it was there. So, give me a GG. Doing some ropey plays just to accommodate Sierra Knight here. Some ropey, ropey plays. Um, somehow we're coming out on top, which we're doing all right then. Um, let's go for one more. See if we can get Sierra Knight in another battle. We're gonna pick up a battle. Um, there's Mega Wire. Let's see if we can get you level 50 on. Send him on. No idea who I'm sending these to. I'm just clicking anybody. Okay. Um, no team preview. Level 100. Sure, why not? Let's go. What we're going up against, I have no idea. Bet yeah, he doesn't expect a Seer Knight, that's for sure. He'll not be thinking, wow, he's going to use a Seer Knight. No way. Yes. Um, Gobbledemic is putting a leg working. I, I want to use Wacka Wacka just for a bit of fun lately. Um, Tatab, and I guess we'll, we'll bring in Terracola. Let's see how we get on. Um, Terrafly lead. Wow. Suits me all day long. Um, I think I'm gonna go for a power focus here. He potentially might set barbs up. Let's just be greedy. Barbs, uh, as expected. Um, all the searing steel. Just for the damage. I don't want to slap down in case he has it to clips. I have no idea what's on his team at all. Okay, so Terra flies down. Sierra Knight has some, at least some utility. Um, Tatab comes in. Um, do we want to take a hit from a fully invested Tatab? He's going to click Jungle Jutsu here all day long. Probably not. Um, I didn't really bring anything that really wants to take a hit from a Tatab. Um, so I guess we'll stay. We'll stay in. Stay in, risk it. Risk it for a biscuit. Um, if he goes down, it's fine. We'll bring Gobdamic in. And we tanked it. Sheer bulk there. Genuinely expected that to go down. Sierra Knight's pretty surprising here. Duskit comes in. Um, yeah, Duskit's definitely gonna clap us. Um, so let's go into Tower Club. Poison now. Press. Um, we can take that damage all day long. Poison stones work. Um, Arsatize. Just get our health back, do a bit of damage. Um, withdraws into Wobbleisk. It's kind of what I don't want to see. Okay, so get a bit of health back. No, I kind of wish I didn't take that jungle jutsu from Tatab. Uh, Wobbleisk will just do big boy damage on me. Um, can you take a hit? Is the question. If I can take a hit. Poison. Dodge. Beautiful. We outspeed him now. Okay. Um, 
so he has um, Dusk it. I should act first. We'll go for the Searing Steel again. Just because we've got Metal Essence. Why, why would you... Because he was trying to... Right, okay, because he's trying to stall me. Searing Steel on the Ikazune. It's not very effective. It's fine. Poison pitches down. Okay, we'll bring in... Epidemic and barbs are annoying me. So, let's get rid of that poison. Um, back in the Terraclaw now. Terraclaw's already poisoned. Probably just gonna go into Wabalisk, isn't he? Here he stare. Set up. Okay. Let's put his melee defense down. And his speed down. He's gonna hit me. I'm gonna parasitize on the hope that. We can take a hit here. Flash and flee. Okay, even better. Means at least we'll get some health back or probably Wabalisk if it comes in. Alright. I am 100% in range of Wabalisk to do big boy damage to me. Okay. Definitely. Okay. He also has the type advantage. Last time he dodged, he dodged just to try and poison stall me. So I'm gonna hit Cyclone Slam here, assuming he's gonna hit Dodge. It's Frost Beam. Okay, so we should actually do a bit of damage to me. It's not running melee moves, which to be fair is probably a good for my Terra Claw. Um, he should take me down now. Um, he should be lighting up like Christmas just to take me down. Lost loot. Wow, he, he should have hit Frostbeam all day long, he just done the worst play ever. Because um, now I'm going to get a bit of health back. Poison should take me down though. Or will it? I'm going to stay for another hit. So he's just allowing, by doing that swap, he's just allowed me to get another hit off. Um, which I'll take all day long, all day long. Um. Okay. Tata -ta -ta just comes in and cleans up here now, doesn't it? Um, pretty much. Um, press jungle jutsu and win. Dodge. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, I would worry about the dodge, except for the fact that he invited me like level one hundred competitive. So. If I was level 50 competitive, not that it's delaying the inevitable. It is inevitable. Duskit comes in. Ooh, Duskit has speed. Um, here's the issue. Duskit. We all forgot about Duskit. Um, Waka Laga. Does not want to... Take a dark attack. Flabbergast. It's fine. Oh, of course my range attack falls. Nature's force. Dark surge. Should hit me for a good bit of damage. Should, shouldn't take me down in one though. Yeah, I don't think so. Nature's force. Bit of chip. Um, his range defense went down. Um, he should hit dark surge again here. Um... Yeah, nobody wants to take a hit on that. Need them. Need to put being a haste in. Need to swap Flavorgas for being a haste. Okay, 
Okay, so at least we got some chip damage on. Means time for duck it Um Range defense did drop though. Air blade is a risk. Um, this could be bad. Um, this is where your trolling hypnotizers come in, but I don't know why I put hypnotizer on. I don't like putting people to sleep all the time. People who spam hypnotizers, like, I don't want to become that guy, but. I think I should have done it there. Okay, swaps out. It's fine. Wobblist comes in, needs an air blade. Not much you can do with, no problem. Guess we'll, we'll muck last now, don't we? Using dodge. Again. I don't get it. Just, I'm, I'm genuinely struggling to understand why he's dodging. Should we, like, mud spatters can't do some damage to me. Oh no, my speed fell. Oh no, oh no. Um, kind of need my speed for Dulskin. Um, Tatab's getting sacked here. I need to get my speed back to give me any sort of chance. Flabbergast. And the crit. It all comes down to Gobbademic. Um. So here's the thing, right? <laughs> if I hit, hit, if I hit hypnotize, and it misses. Oh, I'm like spamming hypnotize twice. If I hit air blade, I don't think it's going to be enough. I, I genuinely don't think it's going to be enough. Um, oh, choices. Um, like, it's not going to be enough. It won't be. I'm going to have to hypnotize. I'm, I'm risking it on a hypnotize here. Oh no! 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 No! The airplane wouldn't have taken him down, so I'm gonna GG. Ah, oh, that teaches me for being a troll. That teaches me. That teaches me. Um, yeah, so guys, I'm gonna leave it off there. Um, Seer Knight, he's an interesting one. Um, as I said, he's. Uh, to work around that battle is actually quite fun uh, that'll teach me for being a troll that'll teach me um but yeah you have to kind of maneuver around it um a lot you need to obviously put the work in to try and get it in is it something that's gonna be the first pick on your team probably not um probably probably not does this have its uses yeah, um, it's okay. There's a lot of Lumions that would pick after this, um, but you know the fact that it has Seer and Steel, it makes it useful to some shape or form. Um, it makes it that you can actually use it now and again. Um, it's it's natural bulk again, is decent. Um, you know, obviously I've just tried to speed creep a couple of things, um, shoulders, wobblisks, etc. Um, the, the, the thing is, you know, do you run it with secret ability and can I just run it in defensive? But you may as well run Ravern with Drop of Youth. Um, or alternatively, you could sit there and, you know, I don't see what else you could do. Do you know what I mean? It's, again, as I said, it, it's awkward. Um, because you, you have to kind of accommodate it in your team when you would rather have something naturally go in um, as well. Because I'm going to leave it off there. Um, that was a fun few battles. Um, 
just trying to use something different in my team. Um, I'm going to say whoop whoop, keep it country, and I shall see you next time.